April 29th. Uh, I just, uh, I had a video all made out, ready to upload, and, uh, <coughs> um, it just disappeared. It was a pretty good video, too, where I shared with this other, uh, Spanish couple. They were, uh, he told me he was getting ready to head to Florida. He's known as my truck, painting beer, because I'm heading to Florida now, and I told him, I said, I said, man, I said, you know, Florida's bad. I said, it's getting ready to, uh, you know, Florida's going under the water, too, man. I mean, that's the worst place you want to be with your family. Um, I said, you need to be focusing on our Lord. You know, I said, this is coming to an end, and I think it's going to happen any time. And he goes, oh, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he can speak English. Good. But uh, it was a little broken, you know, but anyhow, he could speak it pretty good. And I was telling him, uh, you know, America's through. It's going to be destroyed quick. And uh, I said, it's about to be humbled right now. And um, he said, oh, it's bad in Mexico too, man. He goes, everywhere, around the whole world, you know, it's bad now, everywhere. I said, yeah, this is the end times. That was written in the Holy Bible. And a lot of people uh, just didn't believe it. And uh, most people don't see it. But just the simple fact that he acknowledged what I was saying. I wish I could have unloaded that on this here, you know, but it cut it off completely. And, uh, I mean, I had a lot of things there that were very vital and important. I'm going to share it again. Um, the things I was talking about on there. I'd like to, I wish you could have heard his testimony, you know. That's what was really, it was important, you know, because I like to hear stuff like that. But um, how we share it together and when, you know, no matter where he goes, as long as he's with the Lord, he'll be all right, you know. Um, I think that's why it got cut off. I'm going to tell you right now, government, they're all in control of these videos. They don't want you seeing uh, these testimonials like that. That was a good one. Um, it just disappeared on my camera, man, like it was never even recorded. Um... Anyhow, um, what I was going to say was, uh, we know this is the end. Um, you know, if you're struggling with things in this world that are soon going to pass, this is where I'm highly recommending to people to uh, let it go. You know, I mean, if you were out on a, uh, a yacht someplace or a boat, you know, and it started sh sinking... And it was full of gold, full of worldly things, you know, that's going to make you a rich man. But yet that boat was sinking in the ocean, no land around. Would you hang on to it or would you let it go? You know, I mean, look at the earthquakes we've seen all around us everywhere. You got a lot of people saying, oh, once saved, always saved, you know. You ain't got to repent nothing, man. It's what he did on the cross. That's good enough. Yeah, if you believe that, but if you truly do believe that, um, you're going to walk away from this too, you know what I mean? If you're clinging on to this stuff, then where's your faith in Jesus, you know what I mean? Look at what's happening. This is definitely the end times, you know? There's no, have no doubt about it. Um, another thing that I was sharing on there, on that video that got cut off, when you walk away from these things, when I said let it go, or you're going to die with it, these are these are things that are written in the Holy Bible, man. What will this profit you, you know, for your eternal soul? It won't. Um, this is all the devil's stuff, all of it, man. He set it all up. And uh, this is, you know, if you're playing this stuff, you can't have be with the Lord and do the devils. This is where you have to make your choice. <laughs> and uh, I was saying, those that go to work, and they talk about their politicians, but they, they're a little bit nervous about talking about our Lord. He said, if you're embarrassed, if you, you know, if you deny my name, I'll deny your name before the Father. You know, I mean, listen to these words, man. These ear ticklers, they all tell you certain things. They don't tell you the whole thing. And they don't tell you nothing about what's at hand today, neither. The only thing they're concerned about is getting... Uh, their regular donations all the time, how much they need every month to meet their high standard living. 
um, everything screams out at me, man. The way people are dressing, the way their hair is. Um, this is it, man. Get ready, man. We're, we're, this is finished. It's all over. You know, don't be hanging on to this stuff, man. Let it go. Just let it go. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ and then follow him from here on out, man. This is the end. And I guarantee you, you're going to feel good. Another thing I, I shared on that other video where, you know, I had a lot of important things on there. It was a good testimony. Plus that other guy, you know, I had test, man, you know, I mean, that's why that video was cut off. Um, I can't believe it got cut off like that. Um, when we get ready to go, man, you know, you're not taking none of this stuff with you. And it's, it's over here. Um, another thing, when you uh, let this stuff go here, you're going to have uh, a lot more demonic attacks where you're being attacked spiritually at night. And this is true because this is in the Bible too. You know, we fight against principalities of darkness of things. Um, it's spiritual. <laughs> that's what's coming down from the universe, man. These are spiritual things, man. That, that's an old universe, man. And we got spirits in us, you know, we're about to become this spiritual realm. We're either going to be going to be with our Lord for eternity, or you're going to be with the devil for eternity, okay? Um, what's going to happen when you let these worldly things go, this devil's going to come after you. This is a guy dressed up like a woman. It's a guy. This is unreal, man. You gotta see this. That's a guy. You see what I'm saying? Watch. Right there. That's a guy dressed up as a woman. You know, this is the end, man. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, sin is sin, okay? Homosexuality being legalized, that's what you call the frosting on the cake, okay? The reason why you got that is because of uh, all the other sins. Sin is sin to God. And that, what I call it stinking thinking. And what's going to happen when you walk away from this world, that's why I'm telling you, if you're struggling with these things, let it go. Because this is over. This is time to get right with God. Get right with Jesus Christ, man. This is where you repent and you say, Lord, you know. And trust me, you're going to notice it, how much you were into this world and not into the Jesus Christ. You know, just saying you believe in him, if you truly believed in him, you wouldn't be into this so much. You know what I mean? You'd have a, you'd have a very healthy balance in your life if you truly believed in him. And a lot of people only think that they believe in him. That's just a, you know, like a safety net. It's like putting on a life vest just in case, you know, but you're not really sure. Let me tell you something. If you're really sure about something, you're going to let this go and because you, you're going to know what's at hand. And when you do, you're going to get a lot of demonic attacks, a lot. And uh, that's the devil trying to pull you back into this web of lies here. And uh, I've had it too for a long time, man. I've been fighting this, this stuff since September. But the last, I'm going to say the last month, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, now when I have these dreams, man, I can rip, in my visions, I can take steel and tie them down with it. That's what I did with my last one. I tied them down with metal, steel, and then I looked at the steel and I eh, made it even tighter where they were, like, they couldn't even move. Couldn't even move. See, that's what happens when you decide to go with the Lord. I'm telling you, you're going to have more strength than you know. But at first, the attacks are going to be vicious on you. And then the stronger you get, the weaker they're going to get. But you got to remember, you're going to go through these attacks because you had so much of this wrapped around you that they're going to have, it's going to feel like these dreams are going to be overpowering. Okay, I've went through this. This is why I'm sharing this. But you ain't going to hear this no place else. Nobody's sharing everything like this. I guarantee you they're not. And there's a reason why I've got that angel blowing a trumpet above my head. Okay? 
Everything I'm telling you is the truth. And there's that angel blowing the trumpet. There's a little clock, a white horse, and a bathtub. We got to clean ourselves off from this worldliness. Okay? And our time's almost up. <clears throat> and then those that go with Christ will be coming back with them on a white horse, robed in white. And it's going to be a spiritual battle, you know? I mean, these people might be in the flesh, but they're going to get wiped out. I mean, it ain't going to be no battle to it, really, to tell you the truth. It's going to be very, very quick. And we, it ain't much we're going to do. We're just going to be along for the ride. The Lord's going to do it. With, he's going to have flames coming out of his mouth and eyes, man. And he's going to be like, oh, lay it to waste, man. Man, you should have seen me in my last dream when I was fighting against this evil of principalities, man. I ain't had any more after that. When I bent that steel and wrapped and tied him down with it, and then I just looked at it and I tightened it up even more, that was it. They were through, man. They had no power, no strength over over me. None. But that's, yeah, I'm just telling you what to expect. And hopefully you'll have strength because I shared this with you. You can over strength, overcome that faster than I did. And, uh, yeah, it's not pleasant. It's not fun. You just got to wake up from it. Some of it's perverted stinking thinking dreams because this is what the world is, man. That's what I call it, stinking thinking. And we got to get it out of us. We're cleansing ourselves. We're cleansing ourselves with the blood of Christ. And then we wake up a lot. You don't get hardly any sleep. And you're going to be tired, you know. And I'm still tired. You know, I've been sleeping in this truck for a while, man. It's aches and pains. But uh, you're going to be tired. But you got this is where you got to be strong, man, and overcome it. Um, this even goes for people that got this homosexual ten tendency and stuff. This ain't what you think. And these feelings you think you have being perver perverted like this, I don't call it what you guys like to call it, that uh, G-A-Y agenda or whatever with the rainbow flag. Because, number one, the rainbow belongs behind God's throne, not on no queer's flag. And a queer is nothing but stinking thinking, somebody that's same sex. When I call it queer, that goes women with women, men with men. Man, a lot of you, these people have been going underneath the knife for sex change operations when it's a spirit that's inside of them. You know, and you got to overcome that spirit or you're going to be, mm, man. You know, it's just disgusting, you know, how weak they are in it. And that's exactly what it is. They've become, they let this, they let that spirit have control and power over them. Man, I see even older women and older men trying to dress up wearing earrings, nose pierced, looking low. It's a spirit. There's a spirit that looks like a clown. Um... That's where people got their red and purple hair. They're all doing the same thing everywhere. My visions, I shared it with the people. Um, they're doing it all over the nation. They all sound the same, talk the same. You know? <coughs> Get your King James Version Bible. There's a dictionary in the back of it. Okay? Red letter edition. And then you're going to see things inside here. Okay? This is the dictionary in it. You're going to see things in here, and, and I want you to look up repentance. That means to turn away from this world and, and turn towards Christ. And that's where we repent of this world and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I can't believe I followed it. I can't believe I believed the lies. You know, and that's where you, you humble yourself before the Lord. And look at, and remember what he did. And this, this because of what he did, we're able to do this. We're able to repent from this world. We're able to be forgiven again. You know what I mean? Had he not done that, there would be no forgiveness. There would be no repentance. There would be nothing. We'd be damned. Okay? They've done twisted the word thinking, you know, once saved, always saved. And it's a lie. You know, you can't serve the world and him. You just can't do it. <laughs> it's written in here also. Come out of her now, because you can surely you see these signs. A lot of people don't see them because they're going faster and faster and faster. And I'm telling you right now, man, if you're holding on to it, let it go and repent. And remember the power of our Lord.